In this video, I'm going to be going over the best settings in Hell at Loose. If you do enjoy this video, then consider subscribing as it does keep you updated for future videos. So first, to get to settings, you want to press escape and then go to options. Now the first option that you're going to see is the clan tag. The clan tag doesn't matter, but it's basically to show people what clan or server you're a part of. For field of view, I keep mine at 100 as it's not too big and not too small. And if you have the field of view too big, then there's more graphics that need to render. So I'd suggest trying it at 100 for now. Manual bolt cycling I have off, hide FPP bullets I have no. Now, while it may look cool if you set it to 5 minutes, this option has a huge impact on your performance. I recommend trying it out at 0.5 minutes at first as that's the minimum you can do, and for me, I just keep mine at 0.5 minutes. Now, these are my settings for the HUD. This is completely personal, however, if you would like to copy mine, these are my settings right here. Markers are also completely personal. Now for nameplates, I strongly recommend setting them to 500 meters, which is the max you can do, as obviously if you don't see them, you can friendly fire them. I have streamer mode off, and the rest of these are all personal. The next settings that we have are the controls. Now, as you can guess, I play on keyboard, so I do not know how it works for controller. However, if you want my experience on the keyboard, these are my settings right here. I have lean toggle off, ADS toggle off, sprint toggle on, steady aim toggle off. My mouse sensitivity is at 40%. Uh, the same thing is the mouse sensitivity when ADS. Invert first person mouse is off, invert vehicle mouse is off, smooth mouse is off, and crouch toggle I have on, which basically means that you can either hold the crouch button or you can just toggle it on and off. Now for video settings, this is one of the most important settings and it's also the settings that really depend on what you're playing on. Now for full screen mode, I would recommend that you toy between full screen and full screen windowed mode. This is because for some people either one works better, but in my experience I find full screen to work better. For full screen resolution mode, this is whatever resolution your monitor is, I have mine at 2560 times 1440 For resolution scale, I have mine at 100% and I recommend you try the same. You also want vertical sync off and brightness I recommend having it at 150% as it really helps when you're playing in a dark map where it's night and it just helps to spot enemies. Now for the next part, as you can see I have all of mine at high or epic but this is because I play on a higher end computer. If you have a higher end computer you can copy these as it works great in my opinion. However I'll also go over settings that apply to people that have a medium end computer and work great for both FPS and graphics. So the first thing that you want to change is the master quality and you want to set it to medium. After this, you want to turn off SSAO and do the same for motion blur. Then I recommend trying your texture quality at high or epic. Change your view distance to high or epic too. And for anti-aliasing method, personally I prefer community TAA, however for some people, I don't know why, but clarity TAA works much better, so I recommend toying around between these two. Finally, I recommend you change your shadow quality to either high or epic to reduce lag and scoped items. However, these settings should be good to get a good balance between FPS and graphics. Also, if you're still having issues after you've tried a lot of things, I recommend trying to change these settings outside of Hell at Loose. If you have Nvidia, go into your driver and hit the restore button. Set your power management to prefer performance. Change your shader cache to something other than default and give it about 1 gigabyte or so. Set to your actual GPU and change your Windows page file to 10 gigabytes or 1 minute and max. Finally, you want to get into the habit of going into settings and clicking apply settings every time you load in as sometimes these may not save. For keybinds, these are completely optional, however if you want to copy the keybinds that I have, here they are. Again, I don't play on controllers so I don't know the binds for these. 
but finally for audio obviously have your master quality at 100 percent or so i just have mine at six percent right now because i'm recording however if you want my settings here they are